Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Number 11 on the ASVAB says, how many quarts can be filled from a 25 gallon bucket of paint? First off, 25 gallons, that's huge. I mean, like sometimes I get like a five or 10 gallon bucket of paint. That's a lot of paint. Regardless, the key to this one is knowing how many quarts are there in a gallon. Well, there are actually four quarts in one gallon all right so that means that if i have a gallon here that's four quarts so if i have 25 gallons in other words multiplying this guy by 25 then that means that i'm just going to take this and multiply it by 25 as well so what is four times 25 well a lot of times since we don't have a calculator here we'll actually do this multiplication out but anytime i'm dealing with 25s i just kind of think of it as having like a quarter and if I have 25 cents, how many, how much money would I have if I have four of them? Well, if I have four quarters, that makes a dollar, which is 1.00. So it would just be 100 in this case. So this should be fairly easy, straightforward. Four times 25 is 100. Our answer here is C. Number 12 on the ASVAB says, if a crew of four people can paint the barn in three days, how long will it take a crew of two people? Well, in this case, there are a lot of like conversions you can do, like, hey, multiply by this, divide by that, blah, blah, blah. But I think using just straightforward common sense is going to be a little bit easier here. So just think, if four people are going to take three days, then how long will two people take now the common misconception here is they're like okay well we went four to two so we cut it in half so we'll just cut this in half but think about that logically that makes absolutely no sense we have less people doing it how much less well we actually have half the amount of people doing it so on the flip side of that it should be taking double the amount of time so if i'm looking at these two here versus here if I'm going to be cutting in half, doubling over here, 4 divided by 2, 3 times 2 is going to end up giving me 6. So I think the answer here should be D, 6 days. So I kept looking for fast ways to do number 13 here. It doesn't really seem like there's any great shortcuts. If you know of one, put it down in the comments. But let's take a look at the long way. Brian works for five hours, paid $24. Christina's working three hours, paid $10.95. How much more per hour does Brian make than Christina? So we gotta find out how much they're making per hour. So I'm gonna take Brian's total pay of $24, and I'm gonna divide that by the five hours he worked. I'm gonna take Christina's total of $10.95, and I'm going to divide that by the three hours she worked. And then we'll subtract these two and get our answer. So five goes into 24 four times. That gives us 20. Oop, that gives us 20. Subtract those, we get four. Sorry about that writing there. And then five goes into, we got to bring down the zero with the decimal point. And five goes into 40 eight times. So that means 4.8 is how much that Brian is making per hour. Looking over here, three goes into 10 three times with nine. Then we got one, bring down the 19. Three goes into 19. Well, three times six is 18. So six times. And that's going to end up giving us 18. So when we subtract that, we'll be left with one. Three goes into 15 five times. So that'd be 365. Some long division here. Now, if we subtract the two of these, 80 minus 65 is going to give me 15. And four minus three gives me one. So the difference per hour for them is going to be $1.15, which is option A. Okay, sometimes these questions just are crazy easy. This is going to be one of them. So number 14 on the ESVAB says, Margaret is getting married and must be ready by 11.15 a.m. It is now 8.30 a.m. How much time does she have to get ready? So I don't know your favorite ways to see how much time you have to get ready to go in the morning, but this just should be some basic time-telling skills. If I want to go from 8.30 to 9, that's going to be 30 minutes. Then from 9 to 10 is one hour from 10 to 11 is a second hour, and then we still have that 15 minutes. So it looks here like we have two hours, and then we have the 30 and 15 would give us 45 minutes. Now, the only thing that might be difficult here is recognizing like, hey, 45 minutes is how much of an hour? Well, if you break down an hour into 15s, then really you're looking at 15, 
minutes, then 30 minutes, then 45 minutes, and then the one hour mark. So 45 minutes would be three of those jumps out of four. So this would be two and three fourths of an hour. So we converted that 45 minutes into three fourths of an hour. So this is answer C. So number 15 on the ASVAB says, an accounting firm employee is asked to shred 900 documents. If he can shred documents at a rate of seven per minute, the number of documents remaining after one and a half hours of shredding is... So this is kind of a two-step problem here. Number one, we gotta see how many documents are actually shredded. Then we have to subtract that from the total 900. So first off, seven per minute for an hour and a half. Well, one hour is 60 minutes, and a half of an hour is another 30. So an hour and a half would be a total of 90 minutes by adding those together. So we have 90 minutes, and we're doing seven documents per minute. So we have to do seven times 90. Usually when you see that word per, that tells you that you're going to be multiplying. So first off, seven times nine is going to give me 63. And then we still have that zero there to make it 630. So that means in 90 minutes at seven documents per minute, there will be a total of 630 documents that have been shredded. So that's how many are gone. We had a total of 900. So now we just have to subtract that guy off. Well, in this case, 900 minus 600 is going to give me 300. And then we're taking away another 30 to give me 270. That means that my final answer here is going to be C. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today. But remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.